Okie dokie guys, I got the 89 Volkswagen GTI Which I don't think I even mentioned It's a buddy of mine It needs the ignition switch Lock cylinder as well And I'm going to do that Also we're going to do this typical shifter bushings and all that crap Plenty of videos online so I wasn't going to film this but I might as well Uh to get to the wheel remove that of course i've already done it plastic trim i've done two one on top one below there's two bolts big bolts hold the whole column up i dropped it down so i could get to this top plastic cover um and it's easier just to drop this whole thing anyway i just bolted it up lightly now um i do have to get a drill right about here a little bit and that's how you release the spring that's in here you gotta drill a hole so you can get a pick in there get the spring that'll come out uh, but right now i got a puller and i need to get on these right here pull that off and i've got a autozone's tool loaner this is for a pitman arm but it looked like it had the best teeth so I'm gonna see how that works. Uh, see if I can open it up with one hand. I'll show you. Yeah, see, it's got some good, good jaws. Let's trouble a lot of pullers. They have these shitty jaws. Uh, yeah, look at that. Fits right in there. I think this will do it. All right, I'm gonna set that up. Pull that off. Hopefully. Before I do that, actually, I did scribe. I'm not gonna be able to see it with this light. That light mark here, a light mark here, so we know this is top dead center, if you will. It doesn't fit on there as. I don't know, it might be enough. We'll see. I do like this puller because you can tighten this. That's the trouble with most pullers is they, as you pull, they want to separate. But this is good. I can crank these down if I need to. Hmm. This fits nicely, and this will be a lot easier to grab, as long as that doesn't happen, with the jaws. So it's the hmm. setup needed to grab just enough of that thing. Looks like I got it in an angle too, but I was able to walk that off. What a... Ooh, it's a rusty mess. but. All right, anyway, now I can get to the ignition switch. Next is your spring and washer. Oh, this fucking light. You know this light, Harbor Freight? This thing's the biggest piece of shit. Look where they put the toggle switch. So, you put it there, so when you lay this thing down, it consistently turns off. Fucking idiots. Anyway. Off with that crap. Bing, bing, bing. Another thing, bearing retainer, I'm going to say that that's what that is, because there's a bearing right there, and I think I just need some love taps. Rubber mallet right there, see that? <laughs> oh, yeah, there it is. And then your ignition switch is right here. There's a Phillips screw right there. And people bitch online like, oh, why they uh, why they put it there? Well, there's a little thing called um, auto theft in this country and most countries. Uh, so if you had this, so you could just unbolt it. Obviously, your car would be stolen. Next bit is I have to drill a hole right about e my thumb is uh, to get to the release. There's a spring to release that lock cylinder. But uh, I gotta juice up the batteries in the drill and go from there. Okay, so we need to drill a hole to get to this spring clip. That's what holds it in. You just wanna push that down. Like yay. Where is it? Well, I know from other videos it's roughly that area. 
people all sorts of measurements, but if I just hold that up to it and we look, it's right where the Volkswagen logo is. And I have the key at that same angle. I'll do this better in a minute without the camera, but uh, yeah, roughly eighth inch hole drill. And I know that this is the lineup because I can look in here and see there's the half. So that's the way it is. Bam! Okay, dokey. Lock cylinder is in. Ignition switch is in. My steering wheel lock is right there, that little plunger. It's not coming out. The key's in, I know it's not supposed to, but I wouldn't take the key out. It's supposed to pop out. It's still not popping out, but I'm thinking uh, I read something about you gotta wiggle the wheel, maybe. And look at that, I even greased the bearing up here. It was quite dry. Uh, let's check it out, see how this works. Right, slid right down. And there's one pinch bolt right there. I haven't tightened yet. I put on the wiper switch and turn signal, which I also lubricated. Um, I checked the ignition and it does work. I put the key on and powered up everything. So, we're getting there. And I think this is going to press on. Actually, I know it will with the steering wheel. No mention of that in anything I've watched yet. 